Welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Trisha Morris, and today we'll be doing set theory. And this is a practice section, it's a continuation of the last video. Let's get into this activity. Here we have a set A where it's open at 3 and closed at 9. We also have set B where it's closed at negative 2 and open at 7. So let us draw the number line for this. Just remember, we first see a square bracket. That means it's closed. While we first see a curved bracket, that means it's open. Now, here we have a number line and we're going to represent the two sets A and B on the number line. So for A, we have open at three. So if I'm going to represent this on the number line, I will have an open circle at three. And if you realize at nine, it's a square bracket. And this signifies that it's closed at nine. So this is my set A. At negative two, it's closed for B and it's open at seven. And this represents B. So if I ask for A union B, and first I want you to write it in interval notation, then we'll look at the entire area that A and B cover on the number line. So the starting point is negative two and it's a closed bracket. And nine, which is also closed. So this represents A union B. If you want it as a set builder, then we'll start off with X is such that X is an element of the real number where x is greater than or equal to negative two, but lesser than or equal to nine. And that's the set builder. So suppose I ask you for a intersect b. Then for a intersect b, I'll look at the overlapping region. So the overlapping region it means that it's where it's intersecting and intersection region as an interval notation. We know the interval is three and seven and it's open at three and open at seven. If I want to write this as a set builder, I'll have X is such that X is an element of the real number where x is greater than three, but lesser than seven. So always remember that the r is always pointing towards the negative side. And the only reason why I have strictly greater than and strictly less than is due to these curve brackets. Now, if I ask you to find a complement. A complement is found in all elements outside of A. So this is A in yellow, and if I need to find all elements outside of A, that means I'm looking at the entire area that is covered outside. So I'm going to include negative infinity and positive infinity. Now think of complement as the opposite. So but looking at three, it is not used, being used by A. So this is open. So that means outside of A, I'm going to have closed. And going on towards negative infinity. Because remember, complement is everything outside of A. We're not going to stop at negative two, but we're going to continue towards negative infinity. It's the same case on this side. A doesn't cover all of the positive area. So looking at this, if it is closed at nine, meaning 
this number nine is within this set, so it cannot be outside of the set. So if it is closed here, then that means the complement will have the opposite, which is open, and we go on to positive infinity. So representing this orange diagram as an interval, the interval for the orange diagram is three to negative infinity. So I'll have three and minus infinity. Now, please note, I've written the numbers just as how they lie on the number line. And infinity is not a number, so we always have it as open. While the shaded region means that it is closed at three. So three is outside of the set A. The next section, if you realize, at nine, we have it being opened and it's going on to infinity, so it is open. Since we have two brackets, we connect them by union, which means or. So if I'm gonna write this as a set builder notation, I will have X is such that, X is an element of the real number system where, now this side we will say it's X is, now if you realize, we're going towards a negative side and what you can do, you can look at this arrowhead to tell me which inequality I should use. So you want numbers smaller than three. So it means I need to use a less than sign. And if you look at this, it looks just like the arrow, the arrowhead that we have here. So using the same arrowhead, that's what I have here, which means X is less than, and the number that we're dealing with is three. However, this, is a square bracket, so it means that it's equal to. Now the union, which means or, so I'm gonna write or, then looking at this side, we have x, see this arrow ahead, and we are going to attach it on the x, so we are gonna say it's greater than nine. No, it's just strictly greater than because it's open at nine. So we're not using the number nine. And this right here is our set buildup. So suppose I have a complement intersect B. So we have a complement and then we have B. So for a complement, you're going to look at the overlapping region. And if you look at this diagram, overlapping region is at this point. So we have the region to be negative two and three. We're using a complement, previous example diagram, along with B and looking at where we have an overlap. So the overlapping region is negative two and three. So at negative two, if you realize, we have both being shaded, so we have a square bracket, while at three, both being shaded, so we have a square bracket. So this will be A complement intersect B. So here we have two sets, A and B. And first, we're gonna represent it on this number line. So this is three being closed. So it's closed at three. And it's going on to negative infinity. So for B now, we have close that negative two and open at eight. Now looking at this, we can find the A intersect 
B. And this is where we have the overlapping region. So as an interval notation, we'll have the region to be negative two and three. We're at negative two, both of them are using it because we're seeing a shaded circle here and a solid line. So both are using it. While at three, they're also using, so I have the close bracket. So if I want to represent this as a set builder notation, I'll have X is such that X is an element of a real number where X is greater than or equal to negative two, but lesser than or equal to three. If I want a complement, now looking at this, if I want the complement of this, then I look at A and I say, well, where is the outside region for A? And you should be realizing it's only on the positive side. So if this is closed, I will have it being open for the complement. And the reason for this is due to the fact that a is already using the number three. So three is within the set, so it cannot be outside of the set also. So it's shaded for A, so it's open for the outside and complement means we are covering the entire area outside of the set. So this represents a complement. Now, if I'm looking at the A complement, then it means the region will be three and infinity, three and infinity, and it will be open at three and open at positive infinity. So open at three and going on to positive infinity, not a number, so we have it being open. So if we want A complement intersect B, then we look at where does it overlap. So if you realize it overlaps between three and eight, because this is a complement and this is B, and the only overlapping region is right here. At three, it will be open because one of them is not using the three, so we have it being open. And at eight, if you realize not, most of them are not using it, so it has to be open. A minus B, meaning you want A only, then the section that we're interested in is over this side. So A only is where we're not seeing any overlapping region. So my region will be negative infinity to negative two. So A only is just this region that I have here. Not negative infinity is open, but negative two now, that's the region that we're con really concerned with. Remember we want A only. Because this is shaded, it means that B is using it. And once B is using this number, A cannot be using it. So it has to be open. Or in other words, we say that for A only, it will be the opposite. So since it is closed, then it will be open for A only. So if I ask for B minus A, then B minus A, this is my B, this is my A, the region that is B only is right here. So the region is three and eight. At eight, we realize it's going to be open, but for the three, since A is using the three, B cannot use the three, so it will be open. Let's look at this activity. Here we're going to 
do this example and you want A intersect B, you should be seeing that A intersect B is where we're seeing the overlapping region. And the overlapping region is this that we have here, negative seven and five. So the answer will be close at negative seven and open at five. If I want A union B, it's the entire area that we cover. So it will be open at negative 10 and closed at seven because it's the entire area that we cover. So for this one, you'll see that it's open at, for A complement, you'll have it being at negative 10, it will be closed because it's open, so it has to be closed to the outside. And we're going towards negative infinity, so it's open at negative infinity. Same area here, it's open at five. So having outside of this region, I will have closed at five and going on towards positive infinity. And infinity to be open. Now, the next activity we have is B minus A and A minus B. With B minus A, this is B and we want A being outside. So this is a region that we're interested in, where it will be five and seven, but because A is not using the five, that is why we have a square bracket here, and then it will be also a square bracket at seven. For A minus B, we will have this region being A minus B, which is A only, and the region is negative 10 and negative 7, and it will be open at negative 10 and open at negative 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.